Hi, so let's take a look at non-local scopes and we saw with global scopes that a function can access a global scope variable from inside the function. But if you nest functions, then inner nested functions can also access variables defined in the outer function. So let's look at an example. Let's say we have outer func and we're going to define a variable in here. Now, we're doing an assignment in outer func. This means that Python is looking at this x and saying it's local to outer func. It's just created a local variable and it set it to hello. Or actually, it actually set the label x to reference the object hello in memory somewhere, since everything is a memory reference. Now, we can go ahead and define an inner function that we're creating now inside outer func. So, it will get created when outer func is called okay and all we're going to do here is print x now you'll notice that we haven't defined x inside inner func but it will still see the x that's in outer func and so let's go ahead and then we're going to call inner func from inside outer func so now when we call outer func what will happen is the following x which was defined to be and determined really to be local to outer func will be assigned the value hello. Then, inner func is going to be created, not executed, it will be created, and this x here that's used inside inner func, Python is gonna realize that this is not a local variable because there wasn't an assignment inside inner func to x, so x is a non-local variable. Then we call inner func. At that time, then inner func will be executed, and at that time, Python will go and look up the value of x and it will look for it in an enclosing scope. In this case, it's going to find it right away in the out of func scope. So now when we call out of func, we see hello. So it worked perfectly fine. Now you can of course nest more than just one level, right? This works at different levels as well. So we can have out of func. Let's redefine out of func. We're going to define x in out of func. And now we're going to have inner one. And here, all we're going to do is we're going to define another function, inner two, right? So inner two is going to be inside inner one. And here we're going to say print x, okay? And then after inner two has been defined, we're going to actually run inner two from inner one. So we still have to call inner one from inside out of func. So notice what's happening here. We are defining out of func. When we run out of func, it will go ahead, create x. It will then define inner one. Inner one defines inner two, but it hasn't run yet. So that definition hasn't occurred. What happens is that after uh, we invoke inner one or call inner one, then it gets called, then it will define inner two. Won't run it yet until we hit now this line, which calls in a two. So it's just a way a nested uh, calling structure, essentially. So now if we call out of func, we get hello. So it was able to basically navigate two levels up in the non-local scopes until it found hello. Now, Python will determine if something is local or not based on whether it's been assigned in the function. So if we do this, def outer func, and we'll go back to just one level of nesting. Let's say we have x equals hello. And then we're going to say def inner. And for inner, we're going to redefine x and say x is equal to, let's say, python. And here we're going to print inner and x. So we know that we're printing x from inside the inner function. Next, we're going to call inner, right, from inside out of func. And then after inner has run, we're going to print outer, and then we'll print the value of x. So what will happen now, if we call outer func, it's going to run outer func now, right? Outer func is already defined. I hit shift enter on this cell, so it defined it already. Now I'm calling it. So at that point, it assigns hello to x. It then creates the inner function, hasn't run it yet, just creates it. Now it calls inner. At that point, this code runs. But when inner was created, 
not run, when init was created, Python looked at this code and saw an assignment to x. So it said, oh, okay, x is a local variable. So this x over here is not the same as the x over here. This x essentially is masking the x from the outer enclosing scope. So when we print x from inside inner, we will print Python. But when we then print x in outer, well, x, it will be this one over here which was not modified. This x and this x were different. So now when we call out of func, we see that inner printed Python and outer still remained and still printed hello. So now if we want to actually make this assignment here, modify the x from out of func, we have to explicitly tell Python that this is a non-local variable, just like we did with globals. Remember, if we wanted to modify a global variable from inside a function, we had to explicitly tell Python, this is a global variable. We had to say global, whatever the variable name was. So in this case, we're going to do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to copy and paste this function exactly as is. The only thing I'm going to add is I'm going to tell Python X in this inner function is non-local. In other words, look for it somewhere up the chain. Now, it happens to be just one level up, but it could be, you know, multiple levels up, and we'll so see an example of that. So now, when we define this outer function, and if we call it now, if we run it, what will happen is that when inner gets called over here, right, then it will actually modify Python. So to see this, let's go ahead and print outer, and let's say before, Okay, and we'll print x, and this is before calling inner, right? So actually, let's do it here, because it really only matters when we call inner, right? So we're going to print x before we call inner, and then we're going to print x again after we have called inner. So let's go ahead now and run this function. And as you can see, out of before printed Hello. Yeah, because that's what x was. Then we called inner. And inner set x to Python, but it was a non-local x. So Python went ahead and looked and found x in out of func. So inside inner, x is Python, obviously, since we set x to Python. But once we finished running inner, then the x in out of func was actually modified inside inner. And as you can see, the x value is still Python. It was changed as opposed to this example where we didn't define x to be non-local. So again, if you have an assignment, then Python will consider this to be a local variable unless you specifically declare it to be non-local. That's the really the crux of this whole thing. Now, you can of course go non-local more than one level up. So what I mean by this is let's go ahead and create our outer func again. Let's say x equals hello, and let's define an inner function, inner one, okay? And then inside of that, I'm going to say print, and we'll say inner one. We'll go ahead and print x. Then we're going to define inner two, and in inner two, we're going to say non-local x, right? And actually, you know what? I'm going to remove x from this altogether so as not to muddy the waters. Let's just keep it very simple. And I'm going to set x equal to Python. Okay. And um, I'm not even going to print x here. We know it's just going to be Python. So after inner2 has been defined, we're going to call inner2, right? We're inside inner1. And after we've defined inner1, so now we're back in the outer function, we're going to call inner1. And now we're going to print x, okay? So if we now call outer, what you'll see is that x is Python. And it was modified two levels deep. So there was no x defined in inner one, right? x wasn't in inner one. x was defined in inner two, but it was declared as non-local. So this x here, Python looked inside inner one, didn't find x. So it goes one level up, finds x. So it says, okay. Fine, so x is Python. And so this hello here was changed from inside inner two. So we were two levels deep once the change occurred. Now we can make non-local at different nesting levels as well. So if we go back and take this example, so I'm just gonna copy paste it. 
And now in inner one, I'm going to say non-local x as well. And I'm going to say x is equal to Python at in inner one. And then in inner two, I'm going to change x to Monty. Okay. Now, after we've finished running everything, let's see what the value of x is. And as you may have guessed, it's Monty. Because inner two, when we ran it, well, when inner two was defined, Python saw non-local x. It says, okay, so I need to look for x up a level. And it found it, because non-local x means it's here. So basically, it's, think of it as a chain, or just think of it as this x going directly to this x in the outer function. Because really, this non-local x and this non-local x are both referring to this. So it's not that this x points to this x and this one points to this one. This x points to this one and this x points to this one. Because x is what's called a free variable, we'll get to those later on, in inner one. However you look at it, it doesn't matter, it's just equivalent. Depends how you prefer uh, understanding the chain of non-locals. Now one thing I want to point out is that if you do something like this, def outer, and let's go ahead and, sorry, first make a global variable. Let's call it x and let's set it equal to Python. So now we've got a global variable x called Python, right? We can just print x out we see Python. So now let's go ahead and define outer. And here we're going to say global x, okay? And we're going to set x equal to, let's say, Monty. And then we're going to define an inner function. And inside this inner function, we're going to say non-local x, and then we're going to set x equal to um, hello. And then after that's done, we're going to try and print x from inside outer. And then we'll see if we can print x to see the global variable x. But there's a problem here, right? Because we're telling inner that x is non-local. So Python's going to look, but it's only looking in the local scopes. And it's going to go up one level. There's a local scope right here. Outer has a local scope. And it's going to look for x in the local scope of outer. But outer doesn't contain x. x is the global x. So x doesn't actually belong to outer's local scope. It belongs to the global scope. This is just a label saying, hey, this x is the global variable. So if we try and execute this, then Python tells us, I can't do this. I couldn't find a binding. I couldn't find the non-local x. It didn't exist. Now, if we didn't have this in here, right? If we didn't have that, then, even though we have x is Python, which is the global variable, this would now be a local variable that would mask the global variable because Python sees the assignment. There is no global or non-local declaration for x. In fact, non-local wouldn't work because there is no local scope outside of outer. It's running directly in the module. But this one is local to outer. So this will work just fine, right? And if we execute outer, Then we'll see that it printed Monty, right, from outer. So because we didn't execute inner, so sorry, let's go ahead and execute inner now. And if we run that, then we see that the X in outer has changed to hello because we changed it when we called inner, right? But if we now print X, which is the global X, that stayed Python. So in this case here, if you have global x and this here won't work if you in that case you really just have to say it's global right if it's if you're trying to reference the global variable x don't try and say i'm going to reference the non-local x which is itself the global x no you have to go directly to global okay so that's why you're probably better off thinking of this as going directly to something rather than a chain because it's not a chain right x if you say non-local x, it's not going to find this x in here and then say, okay, but this x is the global x. Okay, that won't work as we saw. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.